King James Bible, the second book of the Chronicles, chapter 26. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was sixteen years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. He built Eloth and restored it to Judah. After that, the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uzziah when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jeco Jecoliah of Jerusalem, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who was understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. And he went forth and warred against the Philistines, and brake down the wall of Gath, and the wall of Jebna, and the wall of Ashdod, and built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians that dwelt in Gur Baal, and the Mahunims, and the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah, and his name spread abroad even to the entering in of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Moreover, Uzziah built towers of Jerusalem at the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them. Also he built towers in the desert and digged many wells, for he had much cattle, both in the low country and in the plains, husbandsmen also and vine dressers in the mountains and in Carmel, for he loved husbandry. Moreover Uzziah had a host of fighting men that went out to war by bands, according to the number of their account by the hand of Jael, Jael the scribe, and Mes Messiah, the ruler, under the hand of Hananiah, of one of the king's captains. The number of the chief of the fathers of the mighty men of valor were two thousand and six hundred, and under their hand was an army three hundred thousand and seven thousand and five hundred that made war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the host shields and spears and helmets and Haber, Habergon, Habergons, and bows and slings to cast stones. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks, to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up by his destruction, for he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense, upon the altar of incense. And Azariah the priest went in after him with him, fourscore priests of the Lord that were valiant men. And they withstood Uzziah the king and said unto him, It appertaineth not to thee, Uzziah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests, the sons of Aaron, that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary, for thou hast trespassed, neither shall it be for thine honor from the Lord God. Then Uzziah was wroth, and had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wroth with the priest, the leprosy even rose up from his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord from beside the incense altar. And Azariah the chief priest and all the priests looked upon him, and behold, he was leprous in the forehead, and they thrust him out from thence. Yea, himself hastened also to go out, because the Lord had smitten him. And Uzziah the king was a leper unto the day of his death, and dwelt in the several house, being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of the Lord. And Jotham his son was over the king's house, judging the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Uzziah, first and last, did Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amoz, write. So Uzziah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of the burial which belonged to the kings. For they said, He is the leper, and Jotham his son reigned in his stead. Chapter 27 Jotham was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which is right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah did. Howbeit he entered not into the temple of the Lord, and people did yet corruptly. He built the high gate of the house of the Lord, and on the wall of Ophel he built much. 
Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah, and in the forest he built castles and towers. He fought also with the king of the Ammonites and prevailed against them. And the children of Ammon gave him the same year a hundred talents of silver, and ten thousand measures of wheat, and ten thousand of barley. So much did the children of Ammon pay to him, both the second year and the third. So Jotham became mighty, because he had prepared his ways before the Lord his God. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all his wars and his ways, lo, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. He was five and twenty years old when he began to reign, and reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And Jotham slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Ahaz his son reigned in his stead.